Spraying water-based finishes is the best way to save time and get a professional quality result. Let's review the basics of spraying using these HVLP units from Apollo and Fuji. Even if you're using a different sprayer with different adjustments, the same general rules apply to every spray finish. For more information on different kinds of sprayers, check out our tooltip video linked below. Any brands shown in this video are general finishes recommendations, not paid sponsorships. Setup starts with choosing the right fluid tip. A tip that is too small will restrict the amount of product sprayed, resulting in dry spray. A tip that is too large will make it difficult to adjust spray volume and can result in spraying too much product. Download our tip recommendations linked below. This Apollo gun is set to spray milk paint with a 1.8 millimeter tip using the 3M PPS system. This Fuji gun is set to spray high performance with a 1.3 millimeter tip, again using the 3M PPS system. Find out more about the PPS system in our tooltip video linked below. Every sprayer has a couple of basic adjustments for fan pattern and the amount of fluid that can be sprayed. On the Fuji gun, this knob adjusts the fan pattern and this knob adjusts the fluid volume. This Apollo gun has the same fluid adjustment, but the fan pattern adjustment is here. Work in a well-ventilated area and wear a mask and eye protection. Always strain finish through a fine mesh filter. The goal is to spray three to five wet mills of product. Start by testing on a scrap panel with the fluid adjustment closed and the fan pattern somewhere in the middle. Hold the gun six to eight inches from the surface, about the distance from your wrist to the tip of your middle finger. Slowly increase the fluid volume as you pull the trigger. Spraying too little finish will create a dry spray like this. Spraying too much finish will cause drips and runs like this. Find a happy medium and make sure the spray is a fine mist. If not, then thin the finish. Now adjust the fan pattern to fit your project and preference. Use a small pattern for objects like spindles and wider patterns for larger surfaces like cabinets. Remember, the goal was to spray three to five wet mills of finish. This mill thickness gauge is a handy tool. It has teeth to measure how thick the wet coating is. The last tooth that touched the finish here was the fourth one. So this is four wet mills. Perfect. There is no exact setting for every one and every project. The results of your settings will also be affected by how quickly you move the sprayer. The only way to figure it out is to practice. Now that the guns are all set, we're ready to start spraying our doors with milk paint. Here are a few basic rules to follow. Keep the tip of the gun about six to eight inches from the surface. Always hold the gun perpendicular, not at an angle. Pull the trigger and start spraying off the edge of the surface. Overlap each pass about 50%, and always keep the gun moving when the trigger is pulled. The same rules apply for spraying a clear finish. As these dry, they'll tighten down into a smooth coat. They'll be dry to the touch in about 15 to 30 minutes and ready to recoat in two hours. And here are the doors after they've dried for about an hour. They'll continue to tighten down over the next several days. Allow water-based finishes to dry for seven days before light use and 21 days for full use. For an efficient way to get a professional finish, spraying is the way to go, especially when refinishing cabinets. Sign up to watch our free step-by-step -step cabinet refresh course by following the link below. General Finishes is dedicated to using the highest quality ingredients in all of our products, while testing and advancing our water-based finishes with leading edge technology. Compare GF water-based finishes and all GF products at generalfinishes.com. Then visit our Where to Buy page to find a retailer near you. General Finishes, we make tomorrow's finishes today.